The Centers for Disease Control reports more than 77,000 COVID-19 cases in Florida within the last week. News Channel 8's Brittany Muller joins us now live. And I guess, Brittany, hospitalizations are up as well. Jen, that's exactly right. Dr. Manuel Gordillo with Sarasota Memorial says new studies show for every one positive case reported, there could be an additional 30 cases not counted. That's because more people are testing at home. Most of Tampa Bay has high community transmission levels of COVID-19 right now. Hospitals are seeing an uptick of cases. Every one of us know people that are infected, uh, so you don't have to ask really, is there a surge? You know, we know, everybody knows that there is a surge. Manuel Gordillo is the medical director of Sarasota Memorial Infection Prevention and Control. SMH currently has 67 COVID patients hospitalized. Four are in the ICU and about half are unvaccinated. There's about 200 cases a day reported in Sarasota now as compared to, you know, just about six weeks ago when we were about... 30 a day. Dr. Gordillo says this new variant is more transmissible. So some people who already had COVID are contracting the disease again. So that's a fight between a uh, human's immunity and the virus. So the virus doesn't cannot doesn't have the free reign to infect everybody again as it happened in December. In Tampa, TGH reports it has 67 COVID patients with six ICU beds in use. Dr. Gordillo says you'll want to take a COVID-19 test if you have symptoms. If it comes back negative and you're still showing symptoms, test again. The White House says both the FDA and CDC are meeting next week to make their recommendations about vaccinations for kids under the age of five. The White House says if both agencies give the thumbs up, we could see shots into the arms of kids under five as early as June 20th. Brittany Muller, 8 on your side.